Hello everyone, it's Gant here. This is a video where I'm going to talk about WWE 2K14 again. And this time we're going to talk about the Create a Wrestler mode. Because as you know, the Create a Wrestler mode has been a popular thing since it ever debuted. And I think it's been in every wrestling game they had. Besides the one on Game Boy Advance. Maybe the <laughs> that one also had it. But uh, about the creation mode, I think that you should be able to choose your own winning animation. Because uh, in this game, Raw 2, you could do a lot of stuff. I don't think you could choose winning animation in this game. I think they had that in Day of Reckoning. Or maybe it was an older game than that. But in this game, you could do a lot of stuff with the moves that you can't in the new games. You could, of course, um, make your own taunts. And you could also choose your own walking animation, standing animation. And you could also choose like um, taunts close to the turnbuckle and such. I don't know why they ever removed that, but as you can see right there, John Michaels got that. Yeah, the thing for the switching music. And yeah, all of them got like different ones. That's really awesome. It's almost like a winning animation, but you can do it after a move if you want to. So sometimes I actually uh, had a one. I think I had Robin Dams where he jumps to the top rope. And then he does the RVD taunt, yeah, there we go. And stuff like that is pretty awesome. And you could also have taunts on the apron. So if you had tag matches, you could like do different stuff for the different wrestlers. And that's kind of cool as well. And of course the most important part is how you create your wrestlers, because... Uh, in this game you could actually change the costumes of any superstar, which is awesome. You can even change how they look. Just look at his body right now, for example. I can, I can I can make Shawn Michaels fat if I want to. And that's why this game is so so much fun. Because you can do all kinds of stuff with this game. And for example, if I want to change his pants, I can just go ahead and change the colors. Or change the pants itself. Change the texture, as you can see. I could have made a different attire for Shawn Michaels right there. You could have two attires in this game. So I could have changed to those pants if I wanted. Or I could have something else. <laughs> this is awesome. They should definitely add something like this. I don't know why they can't. Maybe, I don't know, the wrestlers get pissed off or the WWE don't allow them to. But that's stupid because what's so, what's so bad about it? That you can have Edge's pants and John Michaels if you want to. I just don't get it. They're just crybabies, in my opinion. And yeah, I don't think you could choose masks on normal superstars, but you could. Let's see. Yeah, just <laughs> give uh, some Michael the Cobra hat or the Hulk Hogan <laughs> rules. And they also had a lot of different sizes because you couldn't actually choose the size, so they were like, okay, you know what? If you're gonna make uh, one with a big head, then we're gonna make a big one for you. <laughs> So that's really nice as well. Oh, like this. Now we got Shawn. Now we're gonna have Shawn Michaels with a JR hat. <laughs> and this is awesome right there. You should be able to do this in <laughs> like every game if you want to. Like make some make some pink glasses for Shawn Michaels here. <laughs> that's yeah. I just love it. Creation there was awesome. So what do you guys think? Is there something in the creator wrestler mode you want to see in 2K14? Do you think they have added anything at all? So yeah, tell me in the comment section. I'm still in Denmark, so <laughs> I'm uploading this from there. In this game you could also choose what referee you wanted. A different referee would like count faster and things like that. That's also really good. And here is just an example of what I did with John Cena. <laughs> here we go. That's John Cena now. <laughs> and things like this is just amazing. Why can't you do this in the new games? This is Super Bunny Cena right here. In this game you had all kind of weapons and that also was amazing. And you could like throw them like far away and hit people with it. Like this, I could throw it on Cena and it will fall down. Like they had so much stuff in this game that was awesome. There you have a big ladder, you could also get a small ladder, a stop sign. And you could have like 10 weapons at a time. That's so amazing. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video guys. 
I'm Kenneth, signing out. Peace.